All right, so now that we've got Divi set up to perform at its most optimal level by turning off those performance features and making sure that our server environment has what it needs to operate the most efficient way, it's time to make sure that we're working the most efficient we can by setting some Divi settings that will allow you to, to save time by styling those reusable elements, the things that will show up on your screen a lot. Those could be the color palettes that you're using, the fonts, button styles, and a bunch of other things also. Now to do this, we set up some stuff in the Divi Theme Customizer and Divi Theme Options. And while this doesn't have much to do with custom post types and Divi Machine or anything like that, this does set you up to build the most efficiently. So let's go take a look at how to do that right now. Now I'm gonna start out here in the back end of my Divi install. If you followed along so far, you should have Divi machine, advanced custom fields, Divi, and everything installed with the license keys in there and be pretty much ready to go at this point. So here I am on the back end. And first we're gonna go to Divi and then theme customizer to reach the theme customizer. Now another way to get there also is just to go to appearance and then go to customize. It takes you to the same spot, but we'll go from here and hit the theme customizer. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be setting up our site identity, um, things like what is, you know, displays in the address bar and so forth, and then set up some um, fonts and so forth. So first things first, we're gonna go to general here. And then, like I said, site identity. And then in here, I've already put mine as list me classifieds. Yours might say something like WordPress site or something like that. You can go ahead and change that here. And then also, they love putting in the tagline, just another WordPress site. You can change that, you can delete it, you can do whatever you want. Yours will be different than mine. Now, also, if you have a favicon, and we use Canva to uh, kind of design all of our icons and logos and stuff like that we use for this, that is where we can go ahead and put that in. It tells you right here, 512 by 512 pixels. So you can just go select it either from your media library. I'll just select this hamburger just for fun. So I'll just go ahead and select that and then select. And there we go. It asks you if you want to crop it. I'm not going to do anything to it right now. Say crop it. And that gives you a little preview of what that icon will look like. All right, so let's go back now and take a look at some other settings that we might want to change here. And that is going to definitely be the typography. Well, actually, before we do that, let's go to the layout settings. Now, a theme can have theme accent colors. That would typically be something like the line that appears when you hover a menu item with multiple links on it. Now, this is typical for as just a straight Divi install. There's a lot of different things you can do there, but the theme accent colors typically, you know, those little accents you'll find on the site and the, the just the clearest one is that menu line. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change mine to be an orange color. And that color code is FF6600. And we're gonna talk about our color palette in a second and how I found these colors um, in a minute here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that and just go back here. And now I'm gonna look at my typography. Now, there's a great site that I like to look at for font pairings. Um, it's called fontpair.co. Now, as you can see, this is a great website where it will actually give you pairing suggestions. If you click here on pairings, you can select the type of fonts that you wanted to consider. Um, and then, you know, it's simple. You just, there's the header font and here it is IBM Plex Sans. And then the body font is IBM Plex Sans, but not the condensed version and a lot of different options here. So we're gonna be working with Work Sans here for our heading fonts on the site. And then for our body fonts, we'll be working with the Roboto font, just the regular one. You'll see that there's a Roboto condensed font and we just work with straight Roboto. But again, this is your journey. This is not a design course. This is merely a course to show you how to build a Divi machine site with custom post types and all those fun things. You guys are better designers than I will ever be. I am sure of it, so let's continue with that. So back here on my theme customizer, we are gonna start setting some settings here. So let's start by setting the body text size, which we'll just kind of leave like this. We're not gonna make any changes here, to be honest with you. The main things we're interested in are the header font. So we actually have to scroll down to Work Sans, 
Um, you can click and drag this guy down to the W's, which should start right here. Work sans, beautiful. And then for the body font, and you can see how it updates live on the screen right there, which is great. So now we go for Roboto and go down to R. There we go. There we go. Roboto, and there's that Roboto condense and like a bunch of other versions of it. We're just going to use a straight one. And you can see that also immediately updated for us. We want to change our body link color to also be that orange color that I showed you a moment ago. So FF6600, that's our orange. And then our body text color, it's got this 666666 number in there. We're going to make it the half of that because I want it to be a little bit darker on the page because our headings will look a little bit different as we start getting into building the site. Um, for now, I'm going to make the headings, if I scroll down here, also our orange color, but we can always change that again later. So FF6600, oopsie, I typed that way too much. FF6600, there you go. And that has updated already on the page and that is looking good. Okay, so now time for our button default. Um, we're gonna go back here and we're done with the general settings. And we will go down here to where it says buttons. We're not gonna mess with the header, the navigation or the footer because we're gonna be building all of this out in the Divi theme builder, which is obviously the newest and I think personally the better way to do things. So let's go to buttons and you can see that it's got the two states of the button, just the regular button style and then the button hover style. So let's start with the regular style. And we are going to go ahead and change a couple things here. We are going to set our text size as 18 pixels. We're gonna set the text color to be white, explicit white. Now we don't have any buttons on the page here, but if we did, it would actually update live for us so we could see those changes happening. I've done this before, so I already know. And if you have a button style in mind, of course, I'm sure you already know what you'll be changing it to. So let's go on. So for the default button background color, we're going to also, you guessed it, use our orange. So it's going to be FF6600. And we won't have a border on this button. So we'll just drag that to zero. Our border radius, though, is going to be 100 pixels gonna make for nice rounded button shapes. Okay, well, it's giving me the max 50, 50 is fine also, because it just rounds the button out nicely as you see in the um, completed project that we'll be building here. We're also gonna be adding some letter spacing at two pixels, and then we're not really gonna change anything on the font right now or anything like that, but we will tell it that we do not want the button icons. We'll take the button icons off. And that is really going to be it for just a straight button. So let's go back here. And now let's look at our hover button style. Our text color will remain white on hover. And then the only change really is going to be is that we're going to be adding a different color on hover. Because if you remember from the completed project, we have the orange. And then when you hover, it turns to that beautiful blue navy-ish color. So the code we're going to use for that button is going to be... 334E6F. And there you go. You can see that it selected the baby color there. Now, that's it for the theme customizer setting. So I'm going to hit publish here. And then we're going to dive into the Divi theme options. All right. So you're on the back end of the Divi site again. Once we've published those theme customizer settings, we'll go to Divi and then theme options. Now, here we'll just set a few basic things, but they're going to save us a lot of time. Um, first is we're going to be setting the logo. So I'm going to hit upload. Now I've already uploaded our list me logo here that I designed in Canva. And we definitely recommend Canva to anybody. We'll add an affiliate link, but also a regular link in the course notes here for you to check it out. It makes it super easy to design these logos super quickly on the fly. Now also, as always, it's important to put some alt text in there and title and stuff like that for accessibility, but also for search engines to better index your site. So hit set as logo. And if I save that, it will update on the front end with that logo. And we'll take a look at that in a second. So we'll want the fixed navigation on. So we'll just continue on over here. 
And now, here we go. So one of the big things here is going to be our default color palette. Now, there's a site that I love to use called coolers.com. And when you look at it here, it is a color palette generator website. Super easy to use. And I mentioned earlier that we would use something like this and talk about it a bit later on how we find those awesome color palettes. Now, you can go through and you can just hit spacebar and it'll keep generating pleasing color palettes and you can pick something that works for you. You don't need to use the colors that we are using. So to set our color palette, we're not gonna be using a wide range of different colors. We'll leave the black there, we'll leave the white there. We'll use, click on here, and then we'll use that gray kind of off black color that we used for the body text, right? So we'll click over there. We're gonna add our orange color by clicking on that orange and then we'll just type our FF6600 in there. And then lastly, I'm gonna click on this yellow to bring our blue color in. And that is gonna be 334E6F. There we go. And now lastly, lastly, we are gonna go click on the green here and we are gonna put that gray color in there that we had between those different sections. Hopefully my video editor will throw it up in the sky right here so you can see what I'm talking about. And that code is gonna be f 8 f a F, D, there you go. Now you've got that kind of like light, light grayish color coming through over there. And now we have all of our colors on our palette here and it's gonna make life so much easier down the road. Now, the last thing that I'm gonna wanna do right here is set our Google API key. Now, if you don't know how to get the API key, I will link in the course notes a spot where you can go ahead and follow and get your Google API key. This is necessary if you want to use the maps feature, because of course we want to display those beautiful posts of ours for the classifieds on a nice big map. And that's another great feature of Divi Machine you'll be implementing. So that's good stuff. So you're going to paste that right in there. And then if you feel like it, you can copy and paste your social profiles in here, but we'll be using the social media module. So we will also have the option to do it then. So, and that's really it. Last spot I do want to point out here, and we will be using this is the custom CSS area over here where we will be adding a little bit of CSS to do some other small adjustments to our layouts just to show you what's possible and how awesome that can look. And we might even use this new feature from Divi where you can actually add some code from your snippets library and things like that. So that's all fun stuff. We'll take a look at that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and save my page here. And then that, let's look at the front end to see what changed. And to go there, we'll just go here to visit site at the top. And we see that our logo has updated. We've got our colors here all in action with the fonts that we want to be using. But there's obviously still a lot of work to be done here. But we need to work on some other stuff first. And we'll be getting to that real soon in the next lesson.